Welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are talking about internationalization, which means translation and um, just fit your whole content to a specific culture. And this time we are talking about internationalization in specific. So um, I added these two files to my project. Uh, you can download them, um, link is in the video description. And you can put it, it uh, you can put it anywhere in the assets folder. Um, then we uh, go over to Microsoft Visual Studio and then we have to add a few folders. So everything is described in this uh, i18n class. So we add this file to a project, we already done it, then we have to create the asset folder, uh, resources and i18n. So resources uh, has to be typed exactly the same way I typed it because um, with this name every file that is in this folder will be copied into your game afterwards and can be accessed via C Sharp script. Um, so and the subfolder is E18N with a small n, a lowercase n and um, in this folder we will create one file per language that we want to use. So I create a new script, but you can create whatever you want as soon as you rename it to a text file and delete everything out of it. And then we have a key value pair text file. So we create two placeholders, home and test. So home is home and test says this is a test. And uh, we copy this and we create a different one or a second one for German and we translate the value. We leave the keys as they are because afterwards the key will be used in the program to identify the right text. So let's go back um, to Unity and create a canvas. So. Here are two, our two text files. Um, in this canvas we will place a text and then we can leave the text as it is. It's new text right now, no problem. Uh, we make it a little bit bigger so you just uh, hit Alt and Shift and click on the uh, positioning button and we uh, increase the font size to 38, makes the color red, so now we can see this. Now we can add this component, the uh, um, i18n text translator, and then we can enter some text ID here. For example, I enter the home um, text ID, and then as soon as I play, it shows home because my system language is home. If I type text and run it, I will see this is a test. So um, you can test it with different languages. You just go to the i18n class and go to line uh, 54 and there is something coming out. And you can make it active. For example, set the language hard to German. You shouldn't do it uh, in the productive file because it should depend on your current system settings but now you can see this, this is done test, it's German and everything seems to work. So um, the second thing I want to show you is how you can access these text via code and therefore we will create uh, a new script. It can be anywhere, we just want to lock something um, on the console. So uh, I place it on the canvas, I add a component, um, call the component my script and um, it will be created in the asset folder and then I move over to Visual Studio to modify this. So in the start method, I just type debug.log and um, here I can type some static text that won't be translated, but as soon as I want something to, to be translated, I can use 
i18n.fields and this is an array where I can put my text ID in, for example, test. And the second thing that's maybe interesting is um, a language key. You can always output it, for example, for debug purposes or anything like that. Um, it's just a method that is called uh, get two letter ISO code from system language. So the script is done. We have translated everything and we can go over to Unity and just run it and have a look at the console and see the language is English because my system language language is English and the text is this is a test. So that's basically it. That's all you need to do. You know how to translate text, you know how to translate from the script and have fun. <laughs>